Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Hold on, guys, welcome back to another beer review. Um, I'm extremely excited about this beer. I've never heard of this um, brewery, and I've never had a beer from them, obviously. I've never heard from them, but it's funny. I just got home. And I got a text from my buddy Joel who was drinking this beer and said, holy crap, this beer is awesome. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I have a can of that. Let me share it and review it with people. So um, Old Nation Brewing. They are Williamston, Michigan. Big thank you to my man Steve for sending this. Um, this label has a lot of stuff going on. I think it's called M43. It says New Orthodox IPA Series M43 New England India Pale Ale. It's a thing. 6.8% alcohol by volume, 65 IBUs. I love that it says the IBUs on the can. So does Greg. Um, Pil uh, Pilsner Malt, it says it's brewed with oats. Um, it tells you everything. The boil hops are Calypso, Amarillo, and Citra. And then it's dry hopped with Citra, Amarillo, Amarillo and Simcoe. Keep cold, drink fresh. Haze is good. Proudly brewed and canned in Williamston, Michigan. Um, it's funny that they have all this information on this can, but there's no date. So um, Steve sent me this like right around Super Bowl time. So this is probably like... I don't know, five-ish weeks old. But yeah, I'm, like I said, I have no, like, no preconceived notion of this beer going into it. I've never, <laughs> I don't have my glass, hold on. The fun you have when you share beers, I washed my glass out and I forgot, <laughs> forgot my glass. Professional shit. Let's give her a pour, and it's hazy just like the can says it is. M43, I don't even know what that means. What does that stand for? Michigan people, do you guys know? This looks absolutely killer in the glass. It's that awesome pineapple juice. Uh, a solid, I don't know, almost finger of bright white, just super fluffy marshmallow -y head. That looks absolutely awesome in the glass, so. Yeah, it's just hazy, there's no floaties in there. It looks killer, so yeah. I'm, I am. I'm, I love like trying beers from places I've never heard of. So let's go ahead and shove our nose in this one. See what she smells like. That smells. It's very citrus forward, but it, I mean, while this is hazy and it might be an aged thing, there's very much a big multi presence in this. Um, again, it's not. And I think I'm liking this more and more. It's not like overwhelmingly juicy. It's not overwhelmingly like crazy in your face. It's a balanced smelling beer. There's tons of citrus though. There's oranges, there's tangerines. There's like a mango-y thing too. It's not peppery mango, but it's it's like mango. Even sweet, like, it's weird. It's like almost like stone fruity, like apricot-y. But again, it's got this killer, like, bready, malty, just oomph to it. That's underneath all that, um, the hop aroma that you're smelling. It reminds you that it's a beer, and I like that. So let's go and taste it. Steve, cheers. Thank you, sir. Yeah, see, that is solid. That is a damn good beer. <laughs> it really is. I like that a lot. This is, I mean, near 7%, just first impressions, super easy drinking. I mean, I could finish this entire little pour that I gave myself in the next like two seconds. I won't do that, but. Mouth feels on point. I think that might be from the oats. Um, but the taste very much follows the nose. It's a ton of just, it's, it's orange juice, but not like crazy, like you're squeezing an orange into a glass. It's just, it's not like rindy, like pithy orange, it's juicy orange sweet tangerines and again it might be part of like the kind of sweet bready malty thing that's in there but there's something that's like my brain is saying it's like this apricot-y kind of a stone fruit thing it could be it might be like a mango-y thing too but it's like a just a faint hint of like tropical fruits with all that kind of citrus fruit but again this has a strong malt backbone that the, the hops and the malts just play together perfectly it's not overwhelmingly juicy um, it, it tastes like beer. It tastes like a really awesome beer. This is so, so good. I mean, I'm not trying to oversell this where I'm like, oh fuck, this is the most mind-blowing beer ever. It's not. But if I was in Michigan and I sat down at a bar and they had this on 
draft like I'm watching a baseball game, I would drink it the entire time and I would be stoked on it. I, like I said, I've never heard of these guys. This is an awesome first beer to have from them. Really, really good. Finish is super dry. There's a little bit of like this green grassy bitterness that just kind of hangs around. Just kind of like on the finish. It's just like right on the back of your tongue. Um, and then just, I mean, it's more of like that awesome citrusy hop flavor. Like I said, 7%, super easy drinking. The mouth feels awesome. And it might be the oats that they brew this with. But yeah, very bright, very easy drinking. This is an awesome first beer from these guys. It really is. I don't know what Calypso hops are. I'd like to read more about those. I don't know. Um, I always say with like Simcoe hops, I get like a catty thing. This doesn't have like that catty kind of cat piss thing. Um, there, it is, It's like I said, it's got that green kind of grassy earthy thing though that might come from that. I don't know, who knows? There's no sense in like trying to like read what the hops are and then, oh yeah, I taste that. This is very much citrus citrus forward as far as the hops go. And there's like this faint, like it, there's like this weird like stone fruit thing that I'm tasting. So yeah, this is really, really good. Like a solid, solid beer. Nothing that's gonna like blow your socks off, but absolutely just, this is one of those beers, like I said, after work, there's somewhere around the corner from you on your way home, you can stop in and have a pint of it. This would be an awesome beer to have. So I really, really enjoy this. I'd love to have some more beers from Old Nation. So yeah, that's M43. I don't know if we're giving it a numeric rating, like 90, 91. Awesome, awesome beer. Really, really easy to drink. Um, very unexpected and very, very solid. So if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it, Steve. Thanks so much for sending it. And thanks to all you guys for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these.